frame pretty quick. Oh, what a shot! To close that gap down, see that sort of. Oh, there you go. Light heavyweight Stephen Motley and Quintarius Cocker made their professional debut at the night of the Assassin event. However, Motley made an outstanding performance and stopped Coker in only one round. Ganyan George Ashi was brought in as a late replacement to fight Alexis Rocha for the WBO NABO welterweight title. Rocha took control of the fight from the start and never looked back. He often backed Ashi against the ropes, pounding him with relentless combinations. Then, in round three, Rocha dropped Ashi hard to the floor with a right hand. To his credit, Ashi got up and managed to fight back, but in the final minute of round seven, the inevitable happened as Rocha scored a devastating knockout. Undefeated light middleweight Tim Zhu made the first defense of his WBO interim title against former world title challenger Carlos Ocampo. It is time for the dog fights. In a dominant performance, Zhu came out firing and dropped the challenger with a right hand barely a minute into the fight. Once the action was allowed to continue, Zhu stepped in and ended the fight with a stunning knockout. What risk! What risk! He's the sole taker! He's the risk taker! But he is the real deal! He's Tim Zhu! And he's ready for the world! Hard-hitting super featherweight Eduardo Nunez squared off against undefeated Martin Seca in a scheduled 10-round bout. Nunez had only suffered one defeat in his career and had knocked out every opponent he had faced. Seca tested his devastating power in round two and was knocked out cold on his feet. The fight between undefeated Julian Vogel and Thomas Gaspar was scheduled for six rounds in the super welterweight division. However, Vogel only needed one meaningful punch to end the fight in round one and extend his unbeaten record. Deutschen Meistertitel vielleicht irgendwas in Juniorenbereich. Wahnsinn, das ist Julian Vogel. Was für ein Konter und das war's. Thomas Gaspar hatte gar keine Zeit, in diesen Kampf hineinzukommen. Wahnsinn. Undefeated Khalil Big Steppa Co. took on James Queter in a scheduled six-round light heavyweight bout. Co. controlled the action from the opening bell as he put down Queter with a right hook in round one. Co. should be careful. Oh, oh, he cracks him with the right hand. Queter goes down in the first. Queter got back and managed to survive until round three when Co. dropped him for the second time with another right hand. Nice. Right hand counter. A match from Co. Queter down for the second time tonight. The bout was stopped moments later after Queter went down for the third time. The guy who's off balance. Oh! But that could close the show, and it does. 
The fight waved off by Rafael Ramos and Khalil Cohn with the right hand. This time an uppercut. Victorious. He's still undefeated. Khalil. Big step up. Cohn. Argentine light heavyweights Gabriel Omar Diaz and Kevin Brizuela squared off for the WBA Feta Latin Championship. The undefeated Brizuela dominated the early exchanges and used his speed and aggressiveness to take the first round. But in round two, Diaz regained control of the fight as he began to find a home for his punches. Then, in round four, Brizuela went down for the count after a delayed reaction from a right hand. Brizuela had occasional moments of success, but it was clear that Diaz was the better fighter. Diaz won every round from two to eight before closing the show emphatically in round nine. De tanta lona recorrida y una derecha tremenda. Y a la lona Brizuela. Y el hombre de los nocaus espectaculares. Se come uno. De antología. Se acabó la pelea. Three-time Olympic medalist Lazaro Alvarez faced Mexican Edgar Espinosa Vargas in his sixth professional fight. But the Cuban decorated fighter needed barely a minute into the first round to get the job done. Apenas a sexta luta dele! Que esquerda espetacular! Acabou a luta sensacional! Que nocaute foi esse! Que nocaute foi esse! Apagou! Undefeated heavyweight titles David Adelaide and Dimitro Bezos met for the vacant WBO European Heavyweight Championship. Adelaide made an early statement in the opening round by dropping his Ukrainian opponent with a massive left jab. Bases got up and continued fighting, but Adelaide finished the job in round two to claim the victory. British IBO featherweight champion James Jazza Dickens made the first defense of his title against Argentine challenger Hector Andre Sosa. Dickens got off to an early start, dropping the challenger barely a minute into the fight. Oh, oh, shot. Man, perfect shot. However, Sosa began to rally in the third and fourth rounds, finding success with repeated big right hands. But Dickens answered with several combinations of his own. By the ninth round, Dickens was leading comfortably on the scorecards and was well on his way to winning. But in round 10, Sosa shocked Dickens with a one-punch knockout. Oh, no, he's got... Oh, whoa. Alois Jr. and Borna Gertzic square it off in a scheduled six-round cruiserweight bout. Good luck to you both, gents. Touch gloves. Under. Nice guy. But he's Nick. Gertzic took the fight to Jr. from the opening bell, but he was made to pay for his recklessness when Jr. dropped him with a straight left jab 16 seconds into the fight. I like the way he started his pro career. And what a start that is. Just a straight left jab. Oh, dear. Oh dear, dear. Static. Meanwhile, Gertzic continued to be aggressive and made mistakes, which resulted in a knockout in round three. Pretty quick. Oh, what a shot from Ellis Jr. Well, I think that might be. The 
paramedics coming in just to make sure everything's OK. That was a tremendous shot from Alois Jr. And I tell you what... Undefeated British Mark Chamberlain made the first defense of his IBF European lightweight title against former champion of Italy, Viro Lenti. Excited and committed Lent. From the opening round, the difference in skills was obvious. Chamberlain used his faster hand speed to dominate the fight from the start until the fifth round, when he dropped Lenti unconscious with a counter left hook. That contest before, oh, he's caught him. He's caught him and he's gone and he's down. And is he going to get back up? I think not. It's all over. Referee Marcus McDonald says enough. That's it. And Mark Chamberlain, spectacularly, is still the champion. Corner man in there a wee bit too quickly. Undefeated super middleweight prospect squared off against Portugal's Celso Neves in a scheduled eight-round bout. Simpson made easy work of Neves by dropping him in the first like round of their fight the big man that he's compared to early in a... before scoring a devastating one-punch knockout in round three. Work your way up the ladder. Well, I do like that uppercut. And there's a nice right hand. Good timing shot. Second knockdown scored by Simpson. Oh, he just beat that. Right. It is all over! Callum Simpson, victorious on his big stage, his debut with boxer. British boxers Leon Willings and Jake Barton squared off in a scheduled 10-round light heavyweight bout. Following a tentative first round, Willings scored a knockdown in round two with a sneaky uppercut that snapped back Bratton's head. Oh. But barely a minute into the third round, Willings unloaded a perfectly timed punch that put Barton out cold. After 56 seconds of round three, the referees. There are other notable knockouts in 2023 which were not included on our list. Here they are. He said Morrell wanted to make a statement, and that's Brown. exactly what Morrell he's doing. Right there. There he goes, Matt Former heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua faced the Nordic nightmare Robert Hellenius, who was brought in on short notice to replace Dylan White. The opening round was tentative, with both men finding their range with their jabs and having limited success. He's landed a couple of decent body shots, Hellenius, it's 100%. Hellenius will tell him. Yet as the time passes, you have to put it down. Although AJ was getting the better of the exchanges, he continued to fight cautiously, much to the displeasure of the fans. The meanness and the intensity. That's a great right hand. However, midway through round seven, Joshua once again reminded the heavyweight division about his power with this brutal punch. Oh. right hand it's all over Fade. here comes over the top look at the feet lee wood made the first defense of his wba featherweight title against two-time world featherweight champion josh warrington both men went straight to battle after the opening bell and traded shots for the first two rounds here in Sheffield, and both open up. But from the third round onward, Warrington took control of the fight, and Wood had no answer to the challenger's onslaught. By round seven, Warrington was leading comfortably on the scorecards and seemed to be on his way to victory. But once again, 
would shock the boxing world with yet another incredible finish. So there you have it. These are some of the best boxing knockouts in 2023. Since the year's not over yet, we'll make a second part if there are spectacular knockouts during this time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.